Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today I want to talk a little bit about some news that came, I believe, last week from E-Ink. And that is the news about their new on-cell display module. Usually I don't address these kinds of news, but this one I believe is quite important and quite exciting. So let's explore why. So far, the situation with E-Ink modules or the E-Ink panels has been such that you had your e-ink module and maybe a couple of layers here and there that are just for the pure function of the e-ink paper module itself but everything else has been left for the developers of a set of device to actually add as a layer on top so you would have a film layer of touch sensitive capability, then a layer of a front light, then a layer of vacuum EMR capability, and then of course another layer for anti-glare or rough surface, papery type of surface, etc. etc. Now all of these layers, so more capabilities you want, more layers you have on top of your e-ink panel. Now, why does that matter? Well, it matters for several points. And one of the most important points is that every single layer that goes on top of the e-ink capsules reduces the contrast and the clarity ratio of the image quality itself. And this is something that is extremely prevalent on the latest Kaleido Plus devices. It doesn't matter which one it is everybody knows that they are much 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 darker and that's one of the major drawbacks of that current technology. Now this is where the new e-ink on cell touch sensitive e-paper module comes into play. So what is the new thing that it offers? Well it integrates two of the key fundamental things into the e-paper module itself. So you get the touch sensitive layer and the front light on top of it as part of the whole package. So what does this mean for the end user and the future product? Products. Well, it means this. The companies producing the devices, if they opt to use this on-cell touch e-paper module, they will have a lower bill of materials, which means that we as end consumers will get a lower price tag on new devices. And that's a really good thing and a really important point, but that's not the most important point. Because everything is built into that one uh, e-paper module, that means that the uh, future devices will be able to be thinner and most importantly of all it should provide a quite unnoticeable improvement in the image quality contrast ratio and clarity. E-Ink reports that we should see about a 30% increase in contrast ratio on black and white panels and on the Kaleido Plus panels, so the color panels, they should see about a 40% increase in contrast ratio and around 15% increase in uh, color saturation. And those numbers are very, very significant. So especially for the Kaleido Plus. So this means that the new on-cell enabled touch e-paper module thingy is going to be applicable on both black and white and color panels. And also it applies to both plastic top panels and glass pa top panels. They are all going to be able to have this on-cell touch enabled technology uh, delivered. So this is a really, really important uh, development. I'm quite happy to hear news like this because news like this can provide a significant bump in uh, the quality and usability of what is still a very niche kind of a, 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 a side of technology. Technology, I think that it's uh, definitely getting there and the rising popularity of e-ink devices definitely reflects at the pace at which the e-ink technology and the e-ink world develops. So while it may be confusing currently and we have like a huge number of models annually coming out from so many different companies. So yes, for a buyer it is quite a bit of a work to do to research and to find which is the best devices for your needs, etc, etc. But because you guys are uh, buying these things and uh, channels like my own and Morning Coach and Goody Reader and everybody else, we are talking about this quite a lot and there's quite a bit of buzz. Bigger Magazine and news channels are also picking up on the e-ink technology and it's no longer just pushed aside to the fringes and just having a tiny little article, you know, to the side swept out, but it's actually starting to become more interesting to an average consumer as well. I'm really excited to see that the e-ink development technology is picking up in speed. And additionally, when you also now have 
the re-ink stone uh, being announced. And why do I mention that one? Because it's a color e-paper device that doesn't use an e-ink panel. They're actually using their own, uh, I believe it's called re uh, paper or re-ink paper, I'm not sure, but that's one of the distinctive features that you can see that their electronics panel is not on the long side, it's on the top side, and then it makes the device very distinctive and recognizable easily. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens to a marketplace that we've talked about for such a long time that we're calling it e-ink tablets or e-ink devices. But remember, e-ink is a company that currently has a complete monopoly and dominance over the e-paper world. But we're still talking about e-paper world. If the likes of re-ink stone and uh, others actually start getting into this and become successful and profitable and actually do a good job, this in turn can provide something even more interesting, which is competitiveness in the development of e-paper technology. And that's something that we haven't had, oh, well, basically ever. This is why I believe these things are very, very important and interesting to follow up and see how they actually develop. Because you can also see in the CPU world, Intel versus AMD, how Intel was stagnant and how it now actually has to pick up their game when AMD, you know, kind of came back rising with the Ryzen and all that kind of stuff. So that's a whole other story. But bottom line is that competitiveness when developing core technology is always an extremely good thing for the end user and in turn for the technology itself. But let's rewind a little. The new e-ink on touch enabled e-paper panel is a very, very important development. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what happens and what kind of devices we will see uh, uh, coming from this. One important note, the stylus input layer is not built in, but I've read on Gizmodo that they reached out to e-ink and they heard back from them that this is something that is possible, but it's not currently part of this technology. So why while we still don't have it now, that's an indication that should the need arise and should the demand arise for more e-note taking devices, so talk about niche within a niche, um, but then we might actually in the end have a new all enabled uh, e-paper panel coming from e-ink that would have color, that would have touch sensitive, backlight, Wacom or EMR layer and anti-glare and everything in one panel. So not only will the devices then be considerably cheaper, but they should also be thinner. And something that I really care about is then you would have that distance from the pen tip to the pen screen much lower than we have now because yeah, uh, all the layers will be built in. Additional thicknesses would be actually uh, put down to a bare minimum. All in all, this was an interesting bit of news and an interesting bit of development in a technology that I am quite interested. Uh, way too many interested in, in words. I hope that you found it interesting. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and consider dinging the notification bell to get notified when new videos on my deep guide are coming out. Also remember to check out in the description below the fully interactive organizer that I made that's called my daily organizer. It's made for the Supernote books and re remarkable devices primarily. Those are the supported ones. So check out the videos below. The playlist has really interesting videos and really informative videos that will ans answer most of your questions and will provide you with a clearer idea whether this product is for you or not. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye!